If you are one of those people who cannot get enough Atlanta-based reality TV, then gather around because Monica, Latoya Luckett, and Toya Wright are joining T.I. and Tiny on an all-new series titled T.I. and Tiny Friends and Family Hustle. And if they play their cards right, this TV show could definitely be binge-worthy. It's Justin Diego, and I am back with another binge-worthy video. And today, let's talk about this all-new TV show on VH1 that is giving me, like, Real Housewives of Atlanta vibes with a couple of extra servings of that love and hip-hop <laughs> ratchetness that we know and love. But if you've subscribed and you've turned on these bell notifications like I've been begging you to do for months, you might have noticed that there is something different about this video. It is my first YouTube premiere with the squad and that means that a lot of us are here together right now watching this video and I get to see how you feel while you watch the video and I am really excited about that. So let's chat about T.I. and Tiny's friends and family hustle. Okay, I have to be honest, and I'm going to definitely be giving you guys my honest thoughts because I didn't really watch T.I. and Tiny's Family Hustle before because I was like too late to the game, and quite frankly, I don't really have kids and all that stuff, so I'm not really into those little family shows necessarily, but I know that there are a lot of people who are, and you know... This show is actually going to be different. For the cast, we have Toya Wright, we have her daughter, Regine Carter, we have Monica Brown for like the first time on a reality TV, to my knowledge. We have Latoya Luckett and her husband, and they're all going to be talking about love, loyalty, and it seems like the, the overall like vibe of this show is like the modern day family, which happens to include a lot of, you know, our friends and our real lives, right? I think that this is like a really cool idea and I definitely can understand why VH1 liked the concept. This show is going to be coming on on Monday night and it looks like that time slot that they've secured is at 9 o'clock. I just don't know how many episodes is going to be in the season or if this is like a special, but I guess we'll figure that out as we go. The thing is, I'm not necessarily saying like automatically that this is a show that we are definitely going to be deeming binge worthy, but you know, I do want to point out what I think are some of the reasons to watch. Honestly, I feel like at times we are a little ungrateful and we forget how important these Atlanta artists really are. I mean, we have Latoya Luckett who helped start one of the best girl groups of all times. And Tiny is actually really important because she helped pave the way for girl groups, you know, her being in Escape with Candy. And we've got Monica, who if I may say so myself, has the honor of calling Whitney Houston her own personal mentor. Or, you know, she was her personal mentor. Rest in peace. And T.I. is like legendary in these streets. And then we've got Toya and um, Lil Wayne's daughter, Regine. What have they inspired you to do besides call your dad? <laughs> And then like Latoya Luckett, you know, I am Beehive, so y'all already know, you know, I'm I'm looking at her and you know, I got my guard up because we already know how things went in the past. But I didn't realize that Latoya Luckett used to date T.I. And I wonder how many of you guys didn't know either. Comment right now and you know, super chat if you got like some messy deep that you wanna share, you know. <laughs> about you know any tea that I can look forward to because I really like got excited about any potential tea and then I like calmed down just as fast because I realized like I don't know this girl at all I have to be honest about episode one it just wasn't enough for me but you know I still haven't lost hope and I still don't mind giving them like another two or three episodes to like get the momentum up because I, I do have to say this though, VH1, I'm not in the mood to keep playing with T.I. and Tani. And I feel like they are definitely in love. Like that's that can't be disputed. But 
I also feel like they they're more in love with the money or the image of like having this like cute little family and I can't even be mad at it but I don't be wanting to hear about no oh we're gonna get together and it's about to be eight years like girl cut it me and my binge watchers are not for play play <laughs> we'll watch a show but just give us the real tea stop this foolishness because we are definitely on to y'all's little games so tell me what do you guys think about this new show from ti and tiny and definitely tell me what do you guys think is the end game for like latoya toya Reginae, and um um monica tell me what do you think is the end game for like all of these people randomly getting together you know to film this type of show and tell me if this is one of those shows that you want me to like up keep you updated on every now and then because y'all know you know i can barely keep up with what i've already committed to but i'll be trying i'll be trying thanks again guys for watching this video and thank you for all of you guys who chatted with me live and especially those of you who sent over a cute little super chat i will see you supers on the next one